Hey guys, welcome to the next tutorial of ethical hacking and penetration testing via Kali Linux. So in the previous tutorial, we saw how we could actually go ahead and use the meterpreter to our use and it was also included and embedded in with uh, the meta exploit as well. So in this tutorial, I'll be teaching you in deep about the meta exploit. So I'll just go ahead and start the MSF console to start with. And I'll go ahead and delete the previous payload that I created. It can take a bit of time to start. So this is how the MSF console looks like, an image of a cow and uh, yes, but we won't be, I just uh, opened this because uh, if I, uh, I won't be teaching you the MSF console through this uh, prompt. Uh, so I will be teaching you in something different, but if you're wondering that why I actually opened this specific console, the reason for that is because if I open something else, uh, then you might be wondering, and if you have already have a bit of information about MSF console. Then you might, might be thinking that MSF console is this thing and I'm teaching you something else. No, I'm teaching you what exactly MSF console is and how we could actually use that in depth. So that's the reason I wanted to teach you that this is how we can go ahead and access the MSF console. But uh, there would be a more powerful command uh, line interface to go ahead and access this framework and that would be through MSF CLI. So I'll just go ahead and type MSF CLI. That is, okay, it's deprecated I believe. So I'll just go ahead and use the MSF console itself. Perfect, never mind. So note that when you're using MSF console, variables are assigned using the equal to operator uh, and that all options are case sensitive. So you need to make sure that whatever you're actually trying to execute makes sense or it is already there in the system because it works through Ruby command line, that's why. So uh, if uh, you do have to, uh, if you need help or even if you have a single spelling mistake, then it won't work but you can still use the tap completion method to go ahead and complete your uh, statements so that you could execute them in a proper way. So to start with, let's just uh, start. So, okay, perfect. So you can just go ahead and type exploit and it will show you. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and type MSF console and I can just type exploit. I believe this was removed as well. Exploit slash multi. Well, let me just check if I could go ahead and so then I can just type exploit slash multi slash samba and samba is for our own uh, Linux distribution and you can type since I don't have any Linux I won't be executing this now because I have only a Windows distribution over here which I could actually go ahead and hack so and I can just type script so MSF console provides a powerful command line interface to the framework and it allows us to easily add Metasploit exploits into any scripts that we may create. So I will use the equal to operator and it would be my R host. So I'll just go ahead and select something random since I would not be actually accessing thing. And then I'll have to use the payload and make sure that it is case sensitive. So you type in the proper thing and cmd slash unix slash reverse and l host equals to 172.16.19363 space e perfect so if you are not entirely sure about what option options belong to the particular module you can append the letter o in the end over here right exactly so that it will exactly guess what you're actually trying to say and it's own auto zero just make sure that you enter the proper thing so to display the available payloads for the current module i pin letter p in the end uh, instead of o and you will exactly see all the available modules 
So the benefits of the MS console interface would be that it supports uh, launching of exploits and auxiliary modules. It is useful for specific tasks, good for learning, convenient to use when testing or developing a new exploit. It's even a good tool for off exploitation or one off exploitation. It's very excellent if you know exactly which exploits and options you need. And it's very wonderful for the use in scripts and basic automation. But the only real drawback is that it is not supported quite as well and it can only handle one shell at a time, making it rather impractical for client side attacks and it doesn't support any of the advanced automation features of the MSF console. That's why we don't use the MSF CLI as of now. So now I'll be coming back to the most important part that is the MSF console that we have over here. So MSF console is probably the most popular interface to the Metasploit framework. So before I proceed, I'll just type MSF console that we saw over here previously which has replaced the MSF CLI let's see what happens okay so these things have been missing so let's check X and what happens perfect so as you can see uh, the MSF CLI has been deprecated and it was removed permanently so we cannot go ahead and use that any further We'll only have to use or work with the MSF console and we would actually won't need the MSF CLI. So the MSF console is probably the most popular interface to the Metasploit framework. It provides an all-in-one centralized console and allows you to efficiently access to uh, virtually all of the uh, options available in the MSF. The MSF console may seem intimidating at first but once you learn the syntax of the commands you will learn to appreciate the power of utilizing this interface. So benefits of using MSF console is that it is the only supported way to access most features within Metasploit. So it provides a console based interface to the framework. It contains most features and is the most stable MSF interface. It supports full line reading, tabbing and command completion. Execution of external commands is also possible in MSF console. Let me show you something. Let me check if I have my net access over here if I have the NAT perfectly I believe so okay so I have my net active so I'll just go ahead and check ping www.google oh no I don't even need www.google.com let's see if we get something perfect I'll just type control Z and I'll just go back to the MSF console perfect so as you can see I can still go ahead and use the external commands inside the MSF console and the MSF console is launched by simply running the MSF console from the command line as I showed you and it is located in the user share Metasploit framework MSF console directory you can pass a hyphen edge to MSF console to see the other usages or usage options available to you so while the time this starts, I'll go ahead and show you how exactly it looks like. I hope it should not go ahead and start the MSF console again. Perfect. So as you can see, we have different environment options, migration, no database, YAML path, and file, and lots of other things. So you can also go ahead and specify a directory containing additional database migration by typing the hyphen E or you can specify the database environment to load the YAML environment um, by typing hyphen V and something more. So sorry hyphen V is for the version show. So uh, in this way you can go ahead and access different kinds of things with the Metasploit uh, MSF console terminal. The MSF console is designed to be fast and uh, to use and one of the features that helps this goal is tab completion. With the wide array of modules available, it can be difficult to remember the exact name and path of the particular module you wish to make sure uh, use of. So as with the most other shells, entering what you know and then pressing tab will present you with a list of options available uh, whether you know it or not and it will auto complete the string if, uh, the only, if um, there is only one option. So tab completion depends on the Ruby read line uh, extension that's RRL. And it nearly every command in the console supports tab completion. So I'll show you an example. You can just type use exploit, and as you can see, I just type if I can just type X and I can just hit tab, then there's only one thing that starts with EX that's exploit. 
I can type W and it will select Windows because that is the only one. And I can select D then you will see we have DCE or something like that. So I'll just hit enter. I don't know whether DCE is still there. Okay, I believe we have Azure. So I'll just hit enter. Okay. Okay, so we have all of these MSF0. Let's go ahead and select uh, the DCOM module. So I'll just type underscore 02 MSF03. Okay, I messed up a bit. Perfect. I'll hit enter. Perfect. Uh, so I'll just go ahead and type use net API. Let's see if that works. I probably think it won't because I already selected this specific term. Yep, it won't work properly. Yep. So I'll just go ahead and go back and I'll type use net and I'll hit tab. Okay, I believe use net API won't work. Let's see. I believe it should be period asterisk net API. Yep. Yep, it won't work. Perfect. So, and then we can go down and you set the set L host. So, let's check if you cannot log level. So, I'll just go ahead and type L host. So, it won't work because it does not have the uh, L host as of now. Then we can go ahead and set the target, set the payload, and uh, different other things. We can also go ahead and use the MBS SMB method. So, I'll just type use exploit slash windows slash SMB. Okay, I believe. Okay. So I'll just type use SMB slash MS. Let's see if that works. So we have all of these things and we'll be selecting this one 03. Perfect. Net API. Perfect. So uh, the MSF console is most commonly used uh, interface in Metasploit and making yourself familiar with this MSF console command will give you throughout uh, uh, this course that and give you a strong foundation for working in Metasploit in general. So that is it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial I'll be teaching you more about the MSF console core commands and how we can go ahead and work with them.